it is time for more power. Kali ma. What's going on, Team Lethal fans? Joe with Lethal Performance here, and today I'm going to be talking ported intake manifolds. To start, a ported intake manifold is going to improve performance by eliminating any blockages that would cause turbulence. Of course, it's going to give a little bit more area for air to move around in, and therefore, with that more area, is going to allow it to gain and also keep the velocity that it makes in order to hit those cylinders with as much air as possible during the valve cycle. And of course, more air equals more fuel, which equals more boom, which then equals more power, which then equals more go, and of course, is going to increase your speed miles per gallon. Now, if we want to get a little bit more technical, a ported manifold is going to provide a larger CFM, which is basically cubic feet per minute. It's a basic measurement of air that is used in a variety of things such as home ACs to, of course, manifolds, heads, anything that basically flows air can be categorized with a CFM. Now, with these Coyote cars, Ford put some super impressive heads on it that are capable of amazing flow as well as super high horsepower numbers. Once complemented with either a manifold and some headers or, you know, however you want to mix it up with a supercharger and headers, stuff like that, basically anything that's going to increase the flow, your horsepower is going to gain quite significantly. Add some higher lift cams and you're even better off. Although cams themselves are a totally different video that we'll touch on another day because they're just so in depth on how they're made, what you need to install them but we'll touch that on another day. Now what I've got here in front of me is two different manifolds. I've got one here straight from 1320 Junkie Performance. Thank you, Jason, for supplying these to us. They're awesome pieces. But I've got one here from 1320 Junkie Performance, and I've got another here. It's a stock one out of our F-150. Now, this one here, they're both 20 engines. They're both 20 intake manifolds. Just obviously the F-150 is gonna be a little different. As far as the bottom half, though, is concerned, they're both the same, other than this one, obviously, is ported. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip these over, and I'm gonna show you some of the differences here that's going on between your ported one and your non-ported one just to give you an idea here of what you're going to be expecting and what's different between the two so you don't think you're just spending all this money on nothing. On the 1320 Junkie manifold you can automatically tell that the fins up top there have been removed therefore giving the smoothest and most possible airflow as possible as well as the ports in the back there are somewhat shaved down and smoothened out so that they're not restricting air as much as they were initially from factory as well as there's an actual lip on the edge of where the manifold seals to the throttle body flange from the factory, which isn't seen crazily by Ford and isn't obviously called back for quality control, shaved down on the 1320 Junkie one so that you can get the most performance. Now that we've got the two manifolds flipped up here to where you can see the ports, you can clearly tell that the 1320 Junkie manifold has a lot larger of a port there, giving it a little bit more volume and ultimately a lot more air is gonna be able to flow through there. Another note, you can see on the OEM manifold there is a a little seam inside each of the runners of the manifold. Now this is caused when the top half of the manifold hits the bottom half of the manifold and is glued together in the factory. Of course, this is something you definitely don't want to have in any of your runners as it's going to restrict a lot of air. I like to call it almost a brick wall surrounding the entire runner there. I mean, you're probably talking right around like a three or four millimeter wall on each one of those ports there that's going to create turbulence and ultimately slow the velocity of the air down, creating a lot lower horsepower number than your 1320 Junkie. We carry the entire 1320 Junkie lineup here of hand ported high flowing intake manifolds including those 18 and up manifolds that everybody wants, the Boss 302 manifolds that some of you more desire, as well as boost proofing options for those Boss 302s, and even some for the C8 Corvette here for those who are looking to get just a little bit more bump and horsepower without having to go through any tuning craziness. Check them out in the description below. This has been Joe with Lethal Performance, and I'm out. More power, more oomph, more go, and no. <sighs> Yo. Yo! What's up, bud? Please tell me you're at the other office. I am, why, what's up? I don't have a key to lock up. Can you slide over real quick and lock up and then give me your key? Oh, man.